Welcome to Your World Within Daily. I'm Eddie Pinero. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about the rabbit hole, finding your creative spark, and having the courage to create your own lane in life. So good morning. Happy Friday. Congrats. You made it through another week. Going to get you all amped up for the weekend here. So I I had a a conversation with with Zach in the car yesterday that I thought was interesting. Wrote it down. Wanted to talk about it. And um, it has to do with a very specific uh, video that I made slash speech slash song. Um, that I'll, I'll play at the end of this episode here, or at least I'll, I'll play a part of it. And uh, th- it, it really, it starts with a story. So there is a producer that he's done a ton of incredible work. Um, a lot of it's sort of outside the realm of what I listen to. He does a lot of rap. Um, he's worked with like Jay-Z and Drake and stuff like that, but he does pop too. So he works with Bieber and John Mayer. And his, his shtick was he was going from city to city. And he had this little sit down for creators called Pass the Ox. And uh, his name was Ill Mind. And basically the idea was, you know, um, people that make music in the area, you go to this studio, I think there were about 20, maybe 30 of us. And you go around, you play 60, you walk up to the front where he is and you plug your, your, your phone into the ox cord. That's what they call it, Pass the Ox. You play about 60 seconds. And um, essentially, he he reviews it, kind of critiques it, gives you some some tough love and some compliments, and then on to the next, right? So it's a chance to really get a feel for where you're at, hear some other artists, explore, stuff like that. And so, you know, I do some songwriting from, uh, from time to time, and I saw it pop up, and I'm like, you know what, that'd be really fun. So I went with my brother. It was uh, like in the heart of, of, of downtown Miami. It was really an interesting... Uh, Interesting location. It was like this grungy, it almost seemed like a, a broken down building. And then you you go in through this this like metal door and it's one of the most beautiful studios I've ever seen. It was really surreal. It was pretty cool. Um, but I, I wrote this song uh, for specifically for the event. And uh, so I walk in with my brother, sit down and it's, you know, we're way out of our element. Or I should say, you know, I was way out of my element. Um, being that it was really hard, like trap music, like rap, rap, rap type stuff that I just, I, you know, I, I don't really do much of or any of. And uh, so we we go up and I plug my phone in and I play it. And, um, you know, I got some nice words. I mean, he was basically like, you know, you sound like 21 Pilots, um, you know, pat on the back, keep going, do your thing, kid, uh, that type of thing, right? Most, uh, almost everyone else there was playing, again, like like beats for for rappers, um, so then I realized that we're going around again, we're going to do a second song and I'm like, man, I, I just made one. I don't have two songs. So I went into my arsenal. I'm like, what do I have on your world within? What do I have on your world within? I'm scrolling through my phone and I see rabbit hole and which is, it's kind of like a faster spoken word type thing. It's definitely not rap, but I mean, it's, it's, the closest thing I have, right? So I go up and I play this song and this is the kind of a humble brag. Um, you know, he was just blown away by it. And I got a standing ovation from everyone there, um, which was a response that I totally wasn't expecting. Um, because it was again, so different from the vibe there. And I'm like, wow, this is really a powerful thing. And, and, you know, I went back and I sat down next to my brother and he's like, dude, that was amazing. Um, You know, who would have thought, right? And so, you know, I felt really good about it and then kind of it it subsided, right? And then a few months later, I had my event called Your World Within Live down the street. I've played some clips from it um, in the past on this podcast. And... um, I did a keynote where essentially I played five videos from the channel, five speeches, and then kind of delved into them like I do a lot on this podcast, like what they mean and how you can take something from it and improve your life with it. And most of them were traditional speeches and, you know, they were well received. And again, when I played Rabbit Hole, 
um, to talk about sort of creating your own category, pushing boundaries, exploring. I got a standing ovation, which, as Evan Carmichael pointed out, was the only time that happened. Right? It didn't happen on any of the other four speeches that I released that were traditional speeches that I'm known for and, and I love doing. They're just not spoken word. And so I was talking to Zach about that. He was like, yo, so whatever happened with the pass the ox thing? Tell me a little bit about that. And I told him, and he goes, why don't we do more of that? Like, why don't you write that? And let's go make some videos. Let's go do that stuff. And without even thinking, my, my default reaction was, well, it's a little outside the scope of what I do, right? And then I looked at him and I'm like, ah, God, like I already knew I, I messed up, right? You got you to eat at your own restaurant. And it's just such an interesting thing because it feels too out there to pursue. And, and without knowing it or realizing it, maybe subconsciously I've sort of boxed myself in and you know, the, the conversation essentially was, that's not what your world within is about. It's the antithesis, right? Your world within is about having no limits and about trying things and about never stopping and about constantly testing the waters, constantly pushing yourself. And what works, works, and what doesn't, doesn't. But what's interesting to me is despite this incredible feedback, I've sort of moved away from it as opposed to integrating it into, you know, what I normally do, because I love doing it. It just felt too out there. And, you know, I, I pushed it off. So bottom line is, I guess it's, it's very easy to do that when what we should be doing is creating our own category, creating our own lane, having the courage um, to, to, to find a niche and a spot that's perfect for you. And that can encompass a lot of different things. Um, but it's it's just when you get so close to something, like I am with these speeches, I mean, they're my world. I write them nonstop. Um, you don't realize you box yourself in. And it, it was an avenue of life that was just someone put a, a spotlight right on it. And, and, and I'm greatly appreciative for that. So, um, hey, when, when I have these epiphanies, when I have these realizations, I love passing them on, you know, and, and just kind of pointing the question back at you. Or are you... Uh, boxing yourself in in any areas um, unnecessarily, you know, areas that maybe you could thrive, areas that at the very least you should try and uh, experience. So um, I'm going to play, you know, maybe a minute, minute and a half of, of uh, Rabbit Hole. And then, you know, if you want to hear more, I'll put the link in uh, the description on YouTube in the podcasting apps. So um, but yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. And most importantly, I hope uh, you find value in the lesson and, and truly continue to push yourselves. Um, you know, life is too short to box yourself in. Life is too short to build walls that are not there. Those stories we tell ourselves, truly. I mean, we live by a set of rules that exists only between our ears. Um, so let's remember that as we go about the day, the weekend, next week, next month, and the rest of our lives. Uh, I wish you all the best, and uh, I'll talk to you on Sunday. Uh, the Sunday special is a very good friend of mine, country music artist Chris Moreno, uh, just an incredible dude. It's so fun seeing your friends uh, uh, succeed and really do well at what they love. So I'm excited to, to talk uh, with him and share some of that exciting stuff. And uh, until then, I will... Uh, talk to you guys soon. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe, rate, review, helps me get it out to the world. And guys, I appreciate it. Talk soon. They see 30 seconds. They didn't see 10,000 hours. Anyone can sail in smooth waters. Anyone can dance when the music is playing. So is it just a run in the rain? You tell me. Remind yourself of what that door opening is going to feel like. So I have dreams, compulsions to be legendary, evolving from the imaginary, and it's near, and it's real, I can see. In due time we realize that real life is defined by our own eyes. And I have blueprints to the skyline, it's just reality is built methodically, and overnight success you would never guess takes a long time. 
You have to cut lifelines and navigate landmines, but it's your move on your cue, just decide. So I sat there, thought about it. How long am I gonna go on about it? Put my shoes on, I said so long and went outside. Right through the field I used to run by, where the rows of sunflowers waist high, but it was different than what I envisioned. There weren't any road signs, or guidelines, or letters that said it's all just fine. It was just me adjusting as I made my way to the sunrise. Then I paused. On the ground below me was a little door. I knocked slowly, was pretty scared, maybe ill-prepared, but we get one life, one life only. So I opened the hatch, looked down, and it's pitch black, no sound. And if you don't choose any road, we'll do. I've been riding logistical merry-go-rounds, and my eyes are wide, restless soul with scores to settle from years ago. I know that there's more, because I told me so. I'm going down the rabbit hole.